welcome to Lestertainment, the channel with the most deceptive name in all of YouTube. Obviously, I had to make a part 2 of this video since the first one was so successful. These are fighters that were really nice guys during one of their fights and instead of continuing to hit their opponents after they were out, they stopped themselves and basically had to argue with the ref to stop the fight because it was over. Will he make it look easy? He's got the right arm trapped here. You see the fold underneath the left arm. Unlike this video that we are looking at right now where this fighter lied to the ref saying that his opponent was unconscious when he really wasn't and he got the win. What a piece of crap. Let's get started. In their first meeting, Corey Spinks was able to defeat Zab Judah by unanimous decision, re retaining his four titles in the welterweight division. But in the rematch, Zab Judah learned from his mistakes in the first fight and came forward with his jab trying to get inside Spinks who had a longer range and put him down in the end of the seventh, although it wasn't counted as a knockdown. There with that big left, but it whizzed by the ear, a left hand that, that oh, Spinks, Spinks is for maturity days. He did not go down, says Armando Garcia as the bell sounds, but did a glove hit the canvas? By the end of the ninth, Judah put down Spinks again, this time legitimately. Show this on there, uh-oh. chicken legs he was able to beat the count but judah came in with full power and force to end it Got 40 seconds round nine spinks in trouble judah landed another left blanketing corey spinks missing with the left got him with the right the rope holding him up judah looking to amanda garcia saying that should have been a knockdown because the rope held him up Spinks was pretty much out on his feet and Judah trying to be a nice guy didn't want to hit him anymore since he wasn't defending himself and told the ref to look at Spinks that it's over but he delayed it until he got two more punches in against the other side of the ring. Now we have this fight between Ben Davis and Maslam Ruzla and the Centurion Championship. The fight ended early in the first round after Davis was able to get Ruzlam to the ground and started raining down hard punches. Davis had full control from the top, landing punches from every single angle, finally being able to land a series of combinations that knocked out Ruslan. <laughs> Davis then had to tell the ref, who was right on top of the action, to stop the fight because Ruslan was out. He stopped himself from landing any further punishment and argued with the ref until he noticed that the fight was over and stopped it. Now let's take a break from this list as I want to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Also I want to thank you guys for supporting them on my last video as you also support me and this channel by supporting my sponsors. This is an amazing service that provides its hack lock system which scans various databases of leaked information and notifies you if any of your data is found so you can then take action. Also, next time you are looking to travel and are on a budget, use Surfshark as it allows you to see the prices of tons of websites based on other countries where it can be cheaper since travel websites change the price based on the country you are browsing from, based on the country's wealth. Finally, one of the best benefits is that if you want to expand your streaming library, you can choose a popular country like the UK and be able to watch all the shows available on Netflix UK that are not available in your country. For example, I like watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and as they took it away from Netflix USA, I watched it with Surfshark on Netflix UK. There is also a 30 day money back guarantee, so there is nothing to lose. You can get Surfshark VPN with a link in the description, and if you use the promo code TOPLISTAS, you can get an 85% discount and 3 additional months for free. Lioro Machida might be one of the classiest guys ever to fight in the MMA, and always shows if you have never seen one of Emmanuel Augustus boxing fights, I highly recommend that you go watch them because they are amazing. He was a genius and is probably the best example of the drunken boxing style that I have ever seen. 
in this fight against Ray Oliveira is where he shows some of his great technique and movement, which is jaw dropping. Oliveira, a guy who's fought for the world title, the IBF Junior Welterweight world title, and then fought seven current or former world champions, should be experienced enough to deal with that. But it can distract your opponent. It also can take you a little bit out of the oh, fight. What an uppercut! And like I said, it can mesmerize your opponent and set up big shots. Now, the last thing it can do, can it hurt you on the scorecards? Can it in this same fight, in round 8, Oliveira started grabbing the back of his neck and Augustus just backed off until the ref called time. Pick him off with these sharp shots. The guy's really hard to fight. He's hard to box. And um, I think he really needs to get back on him. After Oliveira recovered and came back, Augustus looked really concerned and basically avoided hitting him in the head at all. He just threw punches to the body. Nice Very good Yes, 1988 to 2001. Spanned his career. And a good trainer, too, but right now working with an old fighter in the twilight of his career, Ray Oliveira Knight. The ref called a stop to the fight after the 8th round out of concern for the boxer, but Augustus also contributed since he really refused to hit him in the head after this event. Great work by both fighter and the ref. It turned out Oliveira only had a pinched nerve in his neck, which is awesome news. Now we have the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali also showing some great sportsmanship against Jerry Corey in their second fight. In their first fight, the fight was stopped after Corey received a cut over his left eye in the third round that required 15 stitches. Calling for the doctor. Corey is upset about it. In the rematch, Corey lasted into the seventh round. When he came out of his corner to start the round, either he was really tired or he was out of it. And Ali moved in to finish the fight. At least he did wipe some of the smile off Ali's face there. Ah, Ali out to finish it. Yes, it was a last stand, I think. It was Corey's last gallant effort. Referee must stop it. Yes, it's all over. Ali saw that Quarry was done, so he was landing some pretty soft punches and waving in the ref to stop the fight, who waited for Ali to land two more clean shots and Ali told him again to stop the fight, and then he finally called it off. Quarry wanted to keep going, but Ali made hand signals that it was done, there was no need to continue and for him to receive further punches. Here we have Roe Jones Jr. who was included in part 1 after not wanting to hit his opponent, but this time he is here for the opposite reason. In 2011, he fought against Denis Lebedev of Russia, and let's just say that this was a pretty weird fight. In the ninth round, Jones hurt Lebedev and seemed that he could have jumped on 